right, the Adelo Express customer media display. Let's go over some of the basics of it, kind of give you an idea of what we have. The uh, display can be used on really any of the iPad versions, the Mini, the Air, and the Pro. All that is required is that it must be on the current iOS operating system. So if it'll run the current iOS, it will run the media customer display. They must reside on the same network. This is using the uh, Wi-Fi network to communicate to the iPad. So they must reside on the same network. And uh, they're just considered another device. That, that's really all it is. So it's not hard to set up. Let's go ahead and show you how this works. The concept of what we are doing as far as setup goes is going across the board with all three of these modules that we're going to discuss. You are uh, on the media display iPad, you'll be given a QR code. You take the iPad that you're going to connect this with, that is the point of sale version of the iPad, and you simply scan that QR code. By doing so, it will then link these two iPads together so that you can um, then begin the programming of it. But it all starts with scanning the QR code. Then you enter the device number. Uh, like I said, this is just another device in the network, so you'll enter the device number that will then be on the network. You'll then be able to enter the manager number. This is the same manager number that you have for your uh, standard back office operations on the point of sale. So whatever your manager level access is on the point of sale, you'll enter that here. And that then gives you access to the program screen. This is the program menu screen. Once you set this up to gain access back to this, all you have to do is touch the screen with three fingers at simultaneously, and that will then give you access to this. Here are the four uh, videos that we are running currently on the back on the back customer display. These are short, 15 to 30 seconds max that you can uh, create and then upload from the uh, iPad. So they would have to be on the iPad itself and then uploaded to the program. It's real simple to do. Just select them and then you once you're, once you're running up on the screen, you can check, touch them, to touch each one of these blocks to turn them on and turn them off and on. So you'll see this little uh, blue check here, here, and here. These are the th are three that are running. This one was uh, not running when I took this screenshot, so it doesn't have the little, little check mark. So they are uh, full screen, and they are multimedia. So whichever, uh, whichever videos you choose, that's what's going to come up. We also have the ability to do the similar or same thing during a transaction. And here are two uh, snapshots. These are actual photos that we have of the food that are displayed during the transaction. So these will be on the screen. You can have multiple images. You can also uh, select how often these videos or these images rotate. So they can change during the transaction. These are also customer facing. These can be upsell items, they can be uh, multimedia videos. Whatever the customer wants as far as upselling or encouraging people to uh, actually do more with their transaction. You have a choice of having the, the media on the left or the right, the ticket on the right or left. You have those two options, or these are two of the options you have. You also can as, as you see, change the video or change the picture during the transaction. And then the final option you have is uh, full screen with no multimedia or no uh, photos. So let's watch this in action. Let's watch how this works.
back to the screen here. Now I'm going to go ahead and start a transaction. I've got two iPads on my desk. Uh, I have one that is running the point of sale, which you're not seeing. And then here is the uh, one you are looking at is the rear customer display. Once I sign on to the terminal, then my screen changes to what this is what the customer is seeing here on the transaction. As I ring up, you'll notice that uh, you do have the subtotal, tax, and then total due is shown on the screen. As I ring up, more and more items come up on the screen. Once you are uh, through with this, you can then go to the tender screen. The customer can have a uh, patch unit on the customer side. And in doing so, they can choose credit or debit, or if they pay with cash, we simply use the uh, screen here to tender out. Now this will stay up until you either touch the point of sale screen or there's a 30 second countdown. And that gets us back to the point of sale. You have the choices here of on modifiers. Let's see if I can find an item with a modifier. Yeah. You also can show a void. So if you have an item that you rang up by mistake, need to make a change to it, you can, on the point of sale, swipe to the right to left, touch void, and it takes it off the screen. You'll see how the images are changing. There's a timer that you set up in the back office or in the back, uh, the program menu for the customer display you then will set the timer is how often you want this to change. So that's how that's, that customer display works. So when you're in the manager area, there's some simple little cho choices you have here. Everything you see down at the bottom here, the blues, these are what you want to display on the screen. So you have coupons, you might want to have the customer enter the coupon. Show the unit price, sales, tax, subtotal, and total. So these are the options you have at the bottom. Uh, you also can uh, link to the POS device. I'm linking to, to device five. That's not really important for programming other than when you initially set it up. And then you can also deactivate it. At the top is where you're going to get the majority of your programming options. So configure, welcome, home, screen, media. This is where you can select pictures from your um, photo library or videos. And you'll notice all these have the check marks. If I want to not use a particular video, I just touch that video and then the check box goes away. And then the next time you bring this, the video, uh, the, the display up, it's not going to use that particular video. You do have the ability to have a banner across the top. I don't have any of those here, but you do have that choice. Uh, here's the half screen. This is what is going to display during the transaction. So you see these two photos here. You can also load in videos. These would play during the transaction, most likely would be used to upsell that particular customer. These are not cus these are not item dependent, they're not item related, but they are transactional media that you can use during during that transaction. The next one is um, Media picture displays how many seconds you can choose how long the it takes to, to change those pictures. So you can make them fast, slow, whatever you need. Display theme if you want to choose a different color, you can. I just left it as the default, which is blue. But you have these four other colors for a total of five colors that you can choose for the theme. Display layout 
this is where you choose the media on the top, which is a banner ad across the top, or the media on left or right, whichever you want to choose. And the last one is show configuration menu, the little gearboxes there. Um, if you don't want to use the three fingers method of entering the manager screen, you can check this and it will then leave a little gear on the top left of the display to then show you um, that you can enter the, enter the configuration that way. I particularly really don't want customers seeing that, so I check, uncheck it. There is no save button. When you're done, you hit the back button, and that does the save that saves it at that point. For more information about Adello and our products, you can always call us at 800-801-6036 or email us at sales at adello.com. If you have a support question, email support at adello.com or you can check us out at the family of websites that we have, adello.com, adellopay.com, and adello.express.